jacket, jacket, dab rig. This is all my tattoo stuff in these two cases. Everything I'm going to tattoo with is in these two cases. Normally, I need at least that big suitcase. So that's pretty clutch. Hopefully this works for outside. Everyone I'm tattooing is going to be super bummed out because I'm not going to have any machines that work. But that's all we're taking. Oh, look at you. You know I'm leaving. I'm back. I'm already took off. Go ask them if they can make an exception. Say, I dine here every time I fly. I need a steak and a red wine. I don't care what time it is. We are up in Fugo Tattoo. So the documentary is coming together here. I'm not exactly sure what it's about yet. We will see. I'm saying we can do your neck right now. No, no, no. <laughs> Airbnb. So wait, there is two bedrooms. So which one do you want? The other one. Oh, I don't know what. I like the view here. This is great. My room, I got the double bed. This is great. Yeah, dog. Oh, we're out here. Shy rack. Oh, it's popping. Is that wine? That's good. So we're back. We just walked a mile each way to this steakhouse that was very highly reviewed. <laughs> so Turns out as we start you. reading the reviews that it's bots. They must have some sort of social media. They're talking about great service and, and special times that the server gave them. Meanwhile, our server couldn't even speak English. He, whoa, 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 he didn't. Whoa, whoa. No, not he didn't understand that we wanted french fries it just it doesn't match up it's it's a hoax the whole thing so we just walked back a mile we're gonna get some pizza that's chicago style pizza dog how you know it weighs about 15 pounds <laughs> oh yeah yeah then that steak yeah that steak was so bad <laughs> what the fuck is this guy doing can he get close enough he's like scooping the sewage out and then he walks across the parking lot and then he just dumps it. We don't know if it's sewage though. It could be oil. It is something nasty. Definitely in the ground and not good looking. It's not fresh. <laughs> it's not like fresh soup that he has in storage or something. It was the walk and dump. Oh. Oh, here comes a customer pulling in. Oh shit. Customer found out about the secret sauce. You know what it is? That's a street there. Look, look at it. Look at it all pouring down the street. Hey, don't drive over my toxic sludge. Dude, that is nasty. Let's go eat there. I, I gotta walk by and see what the Let's restaurant is. Let's go eat there right that. now. Let's just go see. Watch, it's the breakfast place we wanted to go to. Investigative journalism. Restaurant busted. Yeah. Snitching with their... Yeah, their snitching channel we could start. <laughs> the dry snitch. Oh, here he goes again. This is a wet snitch. Fifth bucket. How much is in there? Whatever it is is a problem. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> no. Let's go smoke weed out there and smell what I that shit smells it. like. I don't want it. It's so cold out you know, they say you don't know what it's like until you live life in someone else's shoes. I'm living in Teddy's shoes right now. Right. I don't know if you guys want them or not. I love coffee. Thanks, They're warm as hell. Seriously. Oh, good. I gotta eat one. There we go. Yeah. They're good. Dancing. We're going dancing. Dancing. Yeah. Hot. 
It was so fucking spicy. I'm crying. If you zoom in on my eyes here, there's tears. For sure. It's no joke. <laughs> it's really hot. I'll bet. Guys, we're doing a sake vlog tonight. Okay. After this, we're getting ice cream. Then we're right. hitting strip clubs. Right. We'll see y'all. Yeah, all right. You won't go to a strip club? Yeah. No, I won't. But you can't finish. You can't finish. Yeah. yeah. We drink in sake. Zach, Zach's having to yeah. pick up your slack. Slack. Slack, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> this is almost done. I need the music to bring me through. It's done. It's right. empty. It's empty. See ya. We're back from the Korean place. Somehow the camera's in the car because I thought we filmed there. But I'm drunk and there's ice cream. We're back from the ice cream. Place. We're back from the ice cream place. You did film at the Korean place. I did place. film at the Korean place. <laughs> just didn't film at the I just didn't. Ice cream place. I didn't film at the. No, I got iPhone footage. So we're gonna cut to the iPhone footage. <laughs> There's all sorts of candies and desserts. Look at these balls behind me. We're gonna get some crazy shit and we're gonna put it on a uh, film and you're gonna see it. And then when you come to Chicago, you can eat it. Am I in frame? <laughs> oh my God. You're not gonna eat all that. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Listen, Listen, that was delicious. You guys saw the iPhone footage. I am, I'm a little buzzed. He's promised that he'll order a pizza when we get home. Yep, yeah, we're ordering a deep dish pizza from a different place and we're gonna try it out or I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Nighty night. Back at the shop. Dustin brought out the lighter. Dustin found the lighter. It was looking pretty yeah. grim. Damn. It'd be funny if it had no fluid. Niggas empty, huh? Blinky got the stiffy, huh? Shout out to Lil Dizzy, Lil Wizzy. Shout out to everybody in Chicago. Shout out to Dustin. Dustin, Eminem. Eminem, shout out to the Korean spot. Oh. Shout out to ICP. What about the ice cream place? ICP. Ice cream place. <laughs> Looking for fucking Sam. Here he is. Uber driver. I'm gonna jump in the front with this motherfucker. It's morning. It's about 10.30 a.m. I don't know where we left off on the vlog. I was probably drunk. I don't know how much of it was documented. They left me. I don't know where they went. Huh. I can walk, it's only two miles. I wouldn't even mind walking. Look at Shady, no license plate. Thought you left.
got more barbecue from the same place as yesterday. Should be filming a tattoo, but I'm filming this. Anything to say to the vlog? No, I'm so tired. Alright. <laughs> We've been vlogging tattoo after tattoo after tattoo. But today we're going to see it from a different oh, angle. Sad, we're going to see a different so side of the world of tattooing. We're going to see the dark side. Oh, he's doing a new, a new vibe to this. He starts with a yellow. Now the yellow is more of the shape and the idea. And then you will see it take form. Do you want to tell us? Dark tattooing story. We're going for. Oh, I just want to tell you about something. Check out these Hot Wheels that I'm wearing right now. I figured that somebody needed to upstage Teddy today because nice. you know they got the Champs oh. logo on the side there. It reminds me of a race car bed that I never had when I was growing up. <laughs> Over here we go to Aaron, who left the world of tennis to enter the dark side of tattooing. Aaron did leave the world of tennis to enter the dark side of tattooing. It's pretty sick. Can you tell us anything really dark that's happened to you? No, just disappointing my dad, getting a lot of tattoos. Besides the orange, you start to see the shape take form. That's okay. As you can see, the blue pen adds a whole sorry, another dimension to the draw. And now entering the fifth layer, <laughs> the flames. The fire stage. That is part of his anatomy, is to have body fire. Sometimes they don't have them because budgets don't allow. <laughs> What? Budgets don't allow their body fire. You get a budget check. It's like a video game. You got it's got a what is DLC, you know? Like yeah. Certain budgets don't get fired. You gotta upgrade that skin. And size, you know? Sometimes the tattoos are too small. They're like you can't put fire with these. Yeah. The final layer is the outline. This finalizes a mixture of the yellow, green, and peach. Why are you so weird? You can now see how the multiple layers have come together into what we, in modern day times, call a dragon. Bring us into the dark world of tattooing. Here it is. As we wrap up the weekend here, Teddy is finished. <laughs> Just trying to rest for a second. <laughs> Sorry. The documentary, we need the drama, dog. We almost lost him. Yeah, we almost lost him. The medics just left. Yeah, we'll see you. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Well, we leave a fucking. I left out. the camera in here and forgot it during dinner. I'm drunk. We drank. I'm drunk. We drank Cabernet. We. we when I say we, I mean I drank Cabernet we Grand Marnier. Yeah. You did enough. not look lonely one bit. Nope. And now we are headed back to the tat shop. We're gonna smoke some weed. Three stripe life. Look on the right. Grays. Yeah, then we're going to bed and we're flying first class <laughs> back home. So we'll see y'all motherfuckers in Denver. Then we're moving fools. to Atlanta. Y'all fools don't know. We going to Japan. Chicago again. And uh, also. Oh, yeah. Come back and film a commercial now all of a sudden. Yeah, I'm gonna film the commercial. Yeah, y'all fools better watch out. Yo, y'all fools can see me. And then me and Teddy, you see us out here. Peace. Yeah. Okay. You have any yeah, cannabis, like, sir? It's in his shoes. <laughs> okay. This is your last chance right here. <laughs> the last chance box. <laughs>
I love this box. You don't know, no trash either. Don't be throwing that. Don't be throwing that Reggie in here, son. Yeah. Okay, that one's fire good. only. As the Chicago trip comes to an end, we are here at the Publican Tavern in O'Hare Airport. And this place is famous for people missing their flights from drinking too much. We're gonna see what we can do. See what kind of damage you can do here. <laughs> yeah. Can I tell them we got first class? I don't know. We were both upgraded to first class. It's gonna be a good ride. It's gonna be a good ride. In a plane from the 80s. Yeah.